For those of you not in the know, a voxel is essentially a pixel in the third dimension. So instead of images made up of single coloured squares, you now have images made up of single coloured cubes. Coin Advantage has strewn these voxels around and through the power of rotation. It's your job as the player to find the correct vantage point and put the image back together. There are two game modes, Normal and 10 on Time. In normal mode, you start with 45 seconds on the clock, and each image will give you a few extra seconds to play with. So the game becomes a challenge of solving each image as fast as possible to see how far you can get. The voxels get more abstract as the game goes on, so this does somewhat compensate for a lot of images being rushed through subsequent playthroughs. We're getting ahead of ourselves here though. The gameplay is like that found in Blueprint 3D. You're given a mess, and through rotating the screen, have to uncover the image in the top corner. One helpful inclusion is that, unlike Blueprint, you don't have to rotate the image the right way up. Once you piece the image together, it writes itself and you move on to the next task. The other mode, 10 on time, is to see whether you can solve 10 images without the time limit, with no time bonuses awarded. The gradual abstraction of the images as the game goes on is more evident here than in normal mode, and getting through in one piece is indeed a challenge. Accompanying you on this journey is some ever-present yet entirely pleasant classic music. It somewhat staves off the panic induced by a constantly decreasing timer, but as you near the end and the timer becomes more and more intruding, the music can only do so much. Coin Advantage is for fans of Blueprint 3D, but possibly for those that played it and wanted more challenge associated with the uncovering the image gameplay. Those who enjoyed the slower pace of that title might find themselves flustered by the timer, but there still is an enjoyable satisfaction in having a bunch of voxels slowly come together to morph into a pixelated image. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.